I'm Amina Karmanowski. I work with Dr. Lame in Plano, Texas. You maybe already know me by now. Um, today I'll talk about the visual system of the artist system and how the system will align itself and, and find the field where surgery should be performed. And this is called a tensioner. This is a, a, like a remote control that physician uses in a procedure. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to direct the system to read this tensioner and define the work field. So what you're seeing now is the system is moving. And if you point to the screen, you will see how it goes around, gets in the middle of the work field, measures the hair density. So each area that the system is working in will measure the hair density and it knows how to line itself up on the bottom of the work area and then this is the bottom of that grid. This is where it starts. And so when we begin, what the system does, it's going to look at the hair, line up to that hair, and perform the green circle indicates the present. The purple is a preview of the future dissection, and the blue one is the past dissection. And why is this important? because what we need to know is that you should not return to the area where the section happened. And so, and I'm going to pause this for a second so you can understand. So the system should not return to the area where the dissection happened so that we don't over harvest the donor area. And then the green and the purple that we see is, gives us a choice that maybe we want to skip here. Um, the physician operating the system has options. And this is why there is a preview of the next one. So this is a fully interactive system. I'm going to cancel because of this background noise and for a second, and I'll explain something else. So um, what is interesting is that not only that the system gives us option to know where the dissection happened and it blocks that area, it can keep the distance between dissections the way a physician desires it. So there's a way of programming the size of those circles so that the section doesn't happen too tight or in some pattern that can damage the donor area. So the system is interactive. We tell the system what we want it to do and it maintains that but at the same time it can think through the process and it is allowing physician to give an input. So if you think about um, cruise control on your car, the cruise control, once you set it up, it maintains the speed you want it. The, this system does a similar thing, except that it's even more sophisticated because physician can make several inputs and the, the system will continue performing. So I show this and if you want to see it again, it's really fascinating how the system looks at the hair. I can even decide to skip certain hairs but mostly the system will look at the hair, that's a green circle, start dissecting, the moment it start dissecting turns blue, it says it's done, it's passed, and the purple one is a preview of the next one. So this was a small uh, and short video explaining how um, system thinks and, and interacts with us, giving us feedback uh, on what is happening during the procedure.